Hello YouTube. Today we are at the crown of Jammu city named Amar Mahal Palace. So let's know about the Mahal and their geography and their past. However, the Mahal was not built until 1890s. Maharani Tara Devi, wife of Maharaja Hari Singh, lived in this palace till her death in 1967. Now come to the geographic structure of the Amar Mahal Palace. Amar Mahal is situated on the right bank of the Tavi River on a bend of the river in Jammu. The mahal was planned by the French architect in 1862. The palace built in red sandstone with red bricks in the European castle style. The palace has sloping roofs with turrets and tall towers. When built during the reign of Raja Amar Singh, it was the tallest building in Jammu. The imposing building has long passage on three sides, which are covered by sloping corrugated tin roofs. The passage are supported on columns with wooden framework the first floor of the palace building has french windows with connecting balcony the top floor has a bay window the windows also depict triangular projection in classical greek architectural style karan singh and his wife yashoda rajya lakshmi converted the palace into the museum to house rare books and works of art with the objective of encouraging artistic talent to establish fine arts center and to collaborate with other like minded institute for promotion of indian arts for this purpose they transferred the palace property to a trust named as the hari tara charitable trust karan singh voluntarily surrendered the privacy purse paid to him by the government of India as a former ruler of Jammu one of the princely state of India and used the funds to set up this museum named in memory of his parents the museum was inaugurated by Indira Gandhi prime minister of India on April 13 1975 to promote state objectives the trust arranges guided tours books reading lecture film show and hobby classes and other visitor friendly activities in the museum so we are entering in the museum and there is a sculpture of natraj placed in the center of the hall and there is so many portraits hanging on the walls which shows the history of the kings and so many portraits of the kings and queens with their families like this is this one is maharaja ajat chatru son of dr karan singh and his wife rani ritu singh He is Maharaja Vikramaditya son of Dr Karan Singh and Yuvrani Chitrangada Singh This is Rani Jyotsna Singh doctor uh, daughter of Dr Karan Singh She is the queen Maharani Tara Devi wife of Hari Singh and he is the Maharaja Hari Singh son of Maharaja Ranbir Singh Now the portrait is of Dr Karan Singh son of Maharaja Hari Singh and his wife yesho rajya lakshmi and he is the maharaja ranbir singh son of maharaja gulab singh this portrait is of maharaja gulab singh the governor of sikh empire in 19th century there are three sons of maharaja ranbir singh one is raja pratap singh second is raja ram singh and third one is raja amar singh There is also a assembly hall in which so many chairs are plotted there. Now come to the next. There is a golden throne weighing near about 120 kg. There is a room of Maharaja Hari Singh. Now we are entering into the room and there is also a small room in it that is Ladakh room. In the Maharaja Hari Singh room there is a sculpture of Maharaja and so many portraits of Maharaja. In this portrait Maharaja Hari Singh is in official dress in this king catches a fish this is the pics of the childhood of the king as a young boy king poses at Myatso College Ajmer and many more portraits of the king like in assembly and some their family and some with the politicians come to the Ladakh room here some portraits showing the culture of ladakh and also the sculpture of the lord gautam buddha 
Now come to the another room named Raj Mata suit and Nepal room. In this room there are so many portraits and pictures of the Yasho Raja Lakshmi and their husband Dr. Karan Singh and so many antique things of the royal family. There is also pictures of king of the Nepal and also some antique things of Nepal placed there for exhibition. And here is also the heads of two reindeer hang on the two opposite walls which is hunted by the king. And the last room of the music museum contains the Dogra Pahari paintings were created in the second half of the 18th century in the Jammu and Himachal Pradesh of Kangra School of Arts. The last room consists another room containing so many paintings. First is of Mahatma Gandhi made by S. Shobha Singh. Second is of Guru Nanak Dev made by S. Shobha Singh. Third is of Durga made by S. Shobha Singh. Fourth is of Shiv Jyoti made by G. R. Santosh. Fifth is of Jawaharlal Nehru made by N. S. Shobha Krishna. Sixth is of Tibetan monks made by Sharabjit Singh. Seventh is of group of ten paintings called the Shavtar made by Jaswan Singh. First avatar is Par uh, Parasurma avatar. Second is Matsya avatar. Third is Shri Rama Avatar, fourth is Korma Avatar, fifth is Balrama Avatar, sixth is Varaha Avatar, seventh is Shri Krishna Avatar, eighth is Narasimha Avatar, ninth is Vamana Avatar, and the tenth is Kalki Avatar. So, end of the avatars, come to on the next paintings. Eighth painting is of volcanic mountain made by G. R. Santosh. Ninth is of the Fluter made by Prabol Roy. Tenth is of Doll series made by Bikas Bhattacharya. Eleventh is of Elephants made by Muhammad Yasin. Twelfth is of Divine Love made by K. K. Gandhi. Thirteen is of Lady made by Solanki. Fourteen is of Hillscape made by T. D. Chandola. Fifteenth is of Shri Parivar made by Sohan Bilawariya. Sixteenth is of Seascape made by Sharabjit Singh. Seventh is of Monkeys made by Ram Chandran. Eighteenth is of Indra Gandhi made by M. F. Hussain. Nineteenth is of Varanasi Three Bathing made by M. F. Hussain. And twenty is of Varanasi Four Dead Boy made by M. F. Hussain. Now, the maintenance of the Mahal and museum is under the Haritara Charitable Trust.